there's a, a passage of scripture that I, I've come to love. And, and I think about from time to time, and it, it comes from the book of First Timothy. And I'm going to actually read it two ways, and, and you'll get to see it as I read it. And I'm going to do this for, for a reason. Sometimes we, we just read things to read them. And then sometimes when we slow down, we can find nuances in the words that can help us really understand better what's being shared. So let's take a look at this passage. And the first time I'll read it, I'll just read it. The second time, I'll offer a little bit of nuance. Let's take a look. First of all, then, I ask that requests, prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving be made for all people. First of all, then, I ask that requests, prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving be made for all people. It gets a little awkward. <laughs> it gets a little awkward because sometimes we, we withhold prayers for some people. Now, your first reaction to that might be, I would ne never withhold prayers. But we do. And, and maybe we don't do it intentionally. Sometimes I think we do it because they're not on our hearts and minds the way maybe Jesus wants them to be. I'm talking about people who maybe we'd categorize as enemies. Maybe we would just categorize as being far from us. But no matter how we categorize them, sometimes we forget to include them in prayer. And sometimes we choose not to include them in prayer. I don't think God looks at us and says, you horrible person, when we, we do that. I think instead God points us to scriptures like 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. Reminding us that we're to do this for all people. We are to offer our thanksgiving, prayers, requests for all people. Not just some. Not just those for whom it's easy to pray. Not for those that we like or that agree with us. But for all people. So here's the question I'm going to ask today. And it's, it's an easy question to ask, maybe a little harder to answer. But we'll leave it with us. Who do you need to include in your prayers today? Amen.